So every single day I get messages from people all around the world asking what altcoins will make you a millionaire. And in this video, what I want to do is break down 10 altcoins that I think have massive potential to make more millionaires than ever before. And this isn't hype. I'm going to be showing you tokenomics. I'm going to be showing you the chart. I'm going to be talking about utility. I'm going to be talking about why I believe these altcoins are going to absolutely melt faces over the next few years during the course of this bull run. So quick disclaimer, don't buy, don't sell any of these altcoins. It's not financial advice. This is all public information, educational purposes only. And what you choose to do is up to you. Go consult your financial advisor. Ask them what to do with your money because crypto is risky. And by liking this video and commenting 777 below, you're confirming that you are okay with losing absolutely everything because you're aware of the risks here. So with that being said, if you are excited about becoming the first millionaire in your family tree and you're excited to see what these top 10 altcoins are that are below 10 cents for this bull run, then comment 777 below and let's run it. All right, bull runners, welcome back to the channel. So on coinmarketcap.com, there's 2.2 million plus cryptocurrencies. And I remember making videos when there were only 20,000 or 30,000 cryptocurrencies. So with the total market cap of $1.96 trillion, it's like filtering through a haystack. So finding the needle in the haystack is what we're gonna be doing here. And I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 projects that are going to absolutely crush it this bull run. So keep these on your radar. And if we go to uh, cryptobubbles.net, it shows you guys based on you know the hour, the day, the week, the month, or the year, Year, which projects and which narratives are hot right now. And so these are going to be projects that have um, large market caps, medium market caps, and some of them, you know, smaller market cap projects towards the end of this video that you need to be aware of. You guys are early right now. All right. So altcoin number 10 on the list is a fan favorite and it's Dogecoin. And Dogecoin's market cap is at $12 billion, guys. But this project right here is gearing up to make a massive breakout this, this bull run. And it's the first, it's the first meme coin. So it has to be on the list. And, you know, personally, I do hold some Doge coins. So that doesn't mean you should, but I believe this project's gonna do well for a variety of different reasons. Um, aside from it just being the first, you know, meme coin that's out there, you know, it's an open source peer-to-peer -peer digital currency. And they say favored by Shiba Inus worldwide. Now, the reason why, you know, I have Dogecoin over Shiba Inu is because Shiba Inu had its run, you know, the last bull run, it did very, very well, you know, uh, made lots of millionaires. And if you guys were subscribed to the channel, you guys caught that Shiba Inu rally before it took place. And now that we're going into this bull run, a lot of liquidity is going to flow back into uh, Dogecoin. And at its heart, Dogecoin, you know, was an accidental crypto movement that makes people smile. You know, it's an open source peer to peer cryptocurrency uh, utilizing blockchain tech, obviously, and a highly secure decentralized system of storing information as a public ledger that is maintained by a network of computers called nodes. More than this, though, the Dogecoin community cares about supporting each other, which is what crypto should be revolved around being kind, teaching people about crypto, fundraising, having fun, making memes and just being absolutely absurd, which is what the Internet's built on. Right. So it started as as a joke, which is the reason why this project's going to do well. As crazy as that sounds, guys, I know some of these projects are going to be more tech focused and you're going to see the partnerships from a, a utility standpoint, but the internet is built around fun, right? What do you use the internet for? What do you use social media for? To send funny memes, to send funny videos to your friends and family members. And so Dogecoin, Doge stands for uh, do only good every day. And I know that might seem, you know, corny or whatever you guys think. And Dogecoin has no utility, but yes, it does have has utility. The simple fact that money has utility and Dogecoin is money. So Dogecoin is one of the few cryptocurrencies that has been used for this main purpose since day one. And over the years, it became possible to use Dogecoin in spend it in online stores. The past two years, we've seen an explosion in adoption with this project with Dogecoin payment integration provided by third parties like BitPay and Coinbase and several other providers offering prepaid cards supporting Dogecoin as a funding source. And shops can also integrate directly with the Dogecoin blockchain. And when we talk about marketing, this is the favorite project of one of the best marketers in the world, who also is the owner of, you know, Tesla, SpaceX, you know, X.com, Elon Musk. So listen to what he has to say about Dogecoin. There is a fundamental issue with, say, Bitcoin in its current form in that it's the transaction volume is very limited. The latency for a confirmed transaction is too, is too long, much longer than you'd like. It's actually not great from a transaction volume standpoint or a latency standpoint. Perhaps useful as to solve an aspect of the money database problem, which is the sort of store of wealth or an, an accounting of relative obligations, I suppose. But it is not useful as a currency. 
as a day-to-day currency. Part of the reason why I think there's some merit to Dogecoin, even though it was obviously created as a joke, is that it, it actually does have a much higher transaction volume capability than Bitcoin. The cost of doing a transaction, the Dogecoin fee is, is very low. Like right now, if you want to do a Bitcoin transaction, the price of doing that transaction is very high. So you could not use it effectively for most things, nor could it even scale to a high volume. And, and when Bitcoin was you know started, I guess around 2008 or something like that, the internet connections were much worse than they are today. So like having a, you know, a small block size or whatever is, you know, and, and a long synchronization time is made sense in 2008. But to, you know, 2021 or fast forward 10 years, it, it's like comically low. And I think there's some value to having a linear increase in the amount of currency that uh, is generated. If a currency is expected to increase in value over time, you, there's reluctance to spend it. I'll just h- hold it and not spend it because its scarcity is increasing with time. So if I spend it now, then I will regret spending it, so I'll hold it. <laughs> mm-hmm. But if there's some dilution of the currency occurring over time, that's that's more of an incentive to use it as a currency. Those coins somewhat randomly has a fixed a, a number of coins or hash strings that are generated every year. It's a fixed number, so the percentage of inflation will necessarily decline over time. I'm not saying that it's like the ideal system for a currency, but I think it actually is just fundamentally better than anything else I've seen, just by accident. So Dogecoin's not perfect, it's just better than Bitcoin for payments and transactions. And as we get further down this list, you guys are gonna see other projects that you know have more utility, but in terms of a meme coin, that's the first of its kind, uh, that everyone knows about, that everyone talks about, that you know is loved by one of the best marketers in the world, I think it's gonna do well. And when we look at the psychology of a market cycle, the chart is looking absolutely incredible. As you guys can see right here, we were in euphoria stage when we were upwards of 70 cents. Currently, we're sitting at eight cents right now. And so, you know, as we broke down during that bear market and after 2021, you could see the complacency stage right here, then the anxiety, denial, panic, capitulation, anger, when Dogecoin dropped all the way down to the bottom of 0. 0.04, you know, four cents. And then we consolidated sideways for an extended period of time. People were in depression saying that my, my, ti- my retirement money is lost. When they were buying Dogecoin up here, when, El- when Elon Musk was making that Saturday Night Live video saying it's a, it's a hustle, that actually hurt the price of the project. But just like any project, it finds a bottom. And then if it's still going, if there's still utility behind it, if there's still community behind it, if there's still people using it, it breaks out of depression and it goes into disbelief where people think it's a sucker's rally. And then we go back into hope, optimism, belief, thrill, and euphoria again. And that exact same thing will most likely, there's no guarantee here, right? But this exact same process will most likely take place again for Dogecoin. And so as you can see right here, when we break out from this descending resistance right here and we hold it as support, that will be you know the the disbelief rally some people could argue and say that we already went into the disbelief rally in december 2023 but pushing upwards of 10 cents you know we didn't break the high of november so i don't even think we've gone into the disbelief rally for a dogecoin when that happens and we break upwards of you know 15 cents and then we consolidate sideways you know closer to bitcoin's having towards the tail end of 2024 i think we go into the hope rally to come back up to take out the complacency high of 35 cents that's when hope will take place and then as we get closer to you know the all-time high that's when we're we'll be in like optimism belief and thrill and then if we pass the all-time high depending on how much liquidity flows into this entire industry then i think dogecoin could do very very well i mean if we were to draw the fibonacci retracement tool from the euphoria all-time high to the low where anger was to do a 1.618 would be a dollar and 17 cents to do a 2.618 would be a dollar and 86 cents to do a 3.618 would be two dollars and 55 cents and a full extension of 4.236 would be almost nearly three dollars now i don't think dogecoin is going to do a full extension this bull run because that's an insane amount of liquidity to flow into this project i think that liquidity is going to flow into the low and the mid cap projects but just to go back to the all-time high which i think is very well possible for dogecoin is a 7x so a lot of people ask us if i were to choose one meme coin that i think would be a safe play that could do a 5 to 10 x it would be dogecoin now project number nine on the list is hedera's H bar. Now, when I started researching this video, H bar was at like nine cents and it just recently had a rally up within the past day. So it's at 10 cents. We're going to keep it on the list for the fact that this project is absolutely amazing. The market cap is, is a large cap project. It's $3.6 billion, but H bar is just getting started guys. And I talked about this in previous videos. It's up the past month, 52%, but H bar is just getting started. When we look at the all time high, of this project sitting above 50 cents, I think we're going to blow past the all time high, the circulating supply 
for this entire bull run, you know, right now is at 67% of the max supply of about 50 billion. So that's about half of XRP's max supply. So it's even more scarce than XRP and the price is well below XRP's price of about 55 cents. It's listed on virtually all of the top exchanges. So that allows for massive liquidity to flow in. And they're an open source public network governed by leading organizations around the world called the Governing Council. And the Hedera Governing Council is a fully decentralized and transparent governing body of independent global organizations consisting of enterprise Web3 projects and prestigious universities. You have companies like Dell Technologies, Chainlink Labs, Google, LG, WorldPay, Ubisoft, IBM, Telecom, Boeing, among many others. So this project is backed by some of the largest companies in the world. And Hedera is a decentralized open source proof of stake public ledger that utilizes what's called the hash graph consensus algorithm. Their optimized Ethereum virtual machine smart contracts along with the easy to use native tokenization and consensus service APIs is enabling developers to create real time Web3 applications and ecosystems that will drive the future of the internet. So they're built differently than other blockchains in the fact that they have high throughput with fast finality, uh, low predictable fees, fair transaction ordering with consensus timestamps, and a robust code base that ensures scalability and reliability at every layer of its network infrastructure. So developers are able to build on Hedera, enabled by intuitive APIs and EVM smart contracts. So whether you're building, you know, like a weekly project or the next big thing in Web3, Hedera's native network service, SDKs or EVM equivalents, and tooling is what it's called, makes innovation and development of breeze. And as you guys know, by 2030, the goal is to be carbon zero that they want. And the reason why they're pushing this electric vehicle narrative, well, Hedera, you know, the efficiency of Hashgraph consensus enables them to be the most sustainable public network based on the average energy consumption per transaction of 0 0.000003 kilowatts per hour, according to a recent study con conducted by the University of College of London. And additionally, Hedera has committed to being a carbon negative public network through the uh, purchase of quarterly carbon credits to offset the small amount of emissions from all public facing infrastructure. And so for that reason, this is going to make it one of the favorite projects of the elite. And as you guys can see, compare this to the BNB chain is 19 times more efficient, 170 times more efficient than Solana. You see near protocol, uh, Tron, Toncoin, Avalanche, Visa, Flow, Algorand, Tezos, Ethereum, Polkadot, Cardano, Elrond. So more energy efficient than virtually all the other top projects. And when we look at the psychology of a market cycle on the chart to see where we are, you guys can see during the peak of the last bull run, you know, upwards of 50 plus cents, we were in euphoria. And then when we saw this sell off down to 28 cents and bounce back to 48, this was the complacency stage over here in November, 2021. And then when we went into the full blown bear where you can see anxiety, denial, panic, capitulation all the way down here to six cents. And then we formed a bottom all the way down here at about, you know, four cents for anger. And then we just consolidated sideways for several months at a time, depression, where people were just out of the markets. They were done. Nothing was happening because from December of 2022 to nearly December of 2023, HBAR was doing nothing. So people thought the project was dead. And this is exactly how the psychology of a market cycle works. So when you guys are aware of this, you can spot this on the chart. So I'm showing you this right now. As we just broke out from this neckline, the neckline was roughly around nine to 10 cents. We just broke that. So now that we're holding it right now, this is the disbelief rally where people think it's a sucker's rally. They think it won't last. And so what's gonna happen here is three months to 12 months after Bitcoin's having, when we start really going crazy and going into hope, then what comes after hope? Optimism, belief, thrill, and euphoria again. And so if we were to draw the Fibonacci or tracement tool from the all-time high for H bar to the low, from where we are right now, just to go back to the all-time high, it's about a four X. To do a 1.618 extension, that brings it to about 92 cents, and that's a seven X. A 2.618 is about a dollar and 46 cents, or that's a 12 X. A 3.618 is around $2, and that's a 17 X. And to do a full extension of about $2.35, that's about a 20X for H bar. Now, considering the fact the max supply is only 50 billion, which is half of XRP's max supply, and during the 2017-2018-ish bull run, XRP rallied upwards of $3, I don't see why that's not possible for H bar to go to at least $2.35 to pull a 20X. So for that reason, that's why H bar is one of the top projects on my list. Now, altcoin number seven on the list is VeChain, and VeChain's sitting at four cents right now with a $3.2 billion market cap. It's another large cap project. Project. 
the circulating supply is 72 billion the total supply is 85 billion so the vast amount of the total is in circulation the all-time high for h uh, not h bar v chain is at 25 cents Again, because it's a large cap, it's listed on virtually all of the top exchanges. So VeChain's main claim to fame is that they have VeChain Toolchain, a proprietary blockchain application platform where it enables businesses of all sizes to create new services and products in a collaborative manner on VeChain's uh, Toolchain with BAAS, PAAS, and SAAS, software as a service offering VeChain Toolchain, which enables transparency, provides insights into product cycles, and creates new ways of generating value for consumers brands and supply chain participants. So they do this within five categories, which would be food safety, which provides the food and beverage industry, various traceability functions that are readily deployable that allows these companies to communicate and build brand awareness in a trustworthy manner. Because as you guys know, consumers and restaurants need to know if the food is going to be safe and it could be tracked back to where it was purchased from or originally was sourced from to what farm, along with tracking products back across the entire supply chain. Because if you're going to purchase a good or service as a business, you want to make sure you're not buying fake goods and services you know from overseas because if you ever dealt with like dh gate or aliexpress or alibaba a lot of these product products are imitation products of name brands so v chain has already partnered with companies like bmw walmart sam's club orion among many others for general supply chain tracking so this gives v chain a competitive advantage and they can tackle multiple different types of industries like you see wine and drink you have fashion textiles agricultural products where the wave of global digitization of the supply chain chain management post COVID era is transforming businesses. And so VeChain is the leader in this space. Now, as you guys know, a project could be absolutely incredible in terms of utility, partnerships, use case, all that good stuff, but it could be the bad time to buy because the chart doesn't look good. So what we need to look at is the psychology of a market cycle on VeChain start to see where we are right now. As you can see, during the last bull run, we were in the euphoria stage all the way up here. We had this parabolic blow off top at about 28 cents right here back in April of 2021. You know, VeChain currently is sitting about four cents right now. This complacency stage for the dead cap bounce was November of 2021. Then you can see anxiety, denial, panic, and capitulation all the way down here to about two cents. And then anger was right around the bottom at about a penny, 1.014. And then depression all the way down here, even, even lower than that. You can see we dipped down to 0 0.013. Then we started working our way out of here. And so people could argue that disbelief was right here at three cents or that we're currently in this disbelief rally right now where people think it's going to fail. But the next major leg to the upside is the hope stage. And the hope stage is where we're going to start taking out the middle levels of the complacency between like where anxiety was and complacency was. So roughly right around uh, 10 to 13 cents, right around the middle of this range right here is where I think hope will be happening next. But if we were to draw the Fibonacci retracement tool from the all-time high to the low to conserve Conservatively, just go back to the all-time high. That would be about a 5x for VeChain. To do a 1.618 extension to 44 cents would be about a 9x. A 2.618 would be about 71 cents or a 14x. A 3.618, about 97 cents would be a 20x. And a full extension of 4.236 would be about a dollar and 14 cents or a 24x for VeChain. So I do think VeChain could do a full extension by 2030, but for this bull run, I think VeChain will prove their use case this bull run, and it will be one of the best performers as a large cap project. Now, the next altcoin on the list is Kronos CRO. So it's a centralized exchange token. Now, as you guys know, crypto.com is one of the largest exchanges in the world. And this project right here is currently sitting at nine cents with an all-time high of 89 cents. So this is flying under a lot of people's radars and they're sleeping on Kronos. The market cap is at $2.3 billion. The circulation supply is 83% of the max supply and the max supply is only 30 billion. And if we go to Kronos.org, you guys can see that they have their own DeFi wallet. They have their own mobile app, their own exchange. CRO is on Ethereum. It's on Solana. It's on Osmosis. It's on virtually every single exchange, except for Binance for some reason. I don't know why, but Kronos is their decentralized, open source, energy efficient public blockchain with high speed and low transaction fees. And they're designed to support the creator economy with Web3 applications like DeFi and GameFi. And they're also an Ethereum virtual machine compatible blockchain powered by what's called Ethermint and built with the Cosmos SDK that supports the inter-blockchain communication protocol. And so end users can import cryptocurrencies from Ethereum, Cosmos, or other chain families onto Kronos and subsequently use, trade, or invest them in innovative smart contract-based protocols, leveraging the rich application ecosystem of Ethereum, Solidity, and rapidly port apps and smart contracts from Ethereum and EVM-compatible chains. So Kronos's value proposition is that they're an open-source layer-one blockchain 
aiming to massively scale the Web3 user community by providing builders with the ability to instantly port apps and crypto assets from one blockchain while benefiting from low transaction fees, high throughput, fast transaction finality. And so the key value propositions are EVM compatible, Kronos is super scalable, and they're interoperable to be able to bridge other IBC enabled chains like the Cosmos Hub or Osmosis or others. They utilize proof of authority as a more streamlined and scalable consensus mechanism while still maintaining security, their range of experience and carefully vetted validators, and they're open source. And so for that reason, that's why I have CRO as one of the top centralized exchange tokens on today's list. And I mean, they own crypto.com. So from a search engine optimization perspective, it's absolutely genius. Why wouldn't they want to own that domain? That's the best domain you can have in the world. People that are interested in crypto, crypto.com, right? So when we look at the psychology of market cycle on the chart, they're gearing up to make a massive breakout as well too. The chart's looking absolutely incredible. We have the neckline here at about 12 cents. We're currently sitting at nine cents just below the neckline. You can see the euphoria stage was all the way up here at the blow off top, just like the other charts, about 97 cents. And so then when you can see complacency, once we fell off a shelf, it was anxiety, denial, panic during the FTX collapse, then capitulation. So FTX is what brought down a lot of these exchange tokens like, you know, BNB's value, CRO's value, and then you had several others out there as well too. But CRO got hit very, very hard. And when they dropped down into the anger stage, that's when we were all the way down here at about five cents. Then we consolidated sideways and dropped even lower to depression about 0 0.045. But then recently we're just breaking out right now. So we rallied up to 11 cents. We're currently consolidating sideways. And so this is the whole disbelief stage right here where people think this rally is going to fail. What happened? happens next when the entire altcoin market cap starts breaking out after Bitcoin and Ethereum. You guys can see Ethereum starting to break out now. A lot of that money is going to flow into the large caps and CRO will have its day in the sun. It will start to absorb a lot of that liquidity. So the hope stage is going to be right around up here where we consolidated that for an extended period of time before going into anxiety, denial and panic. So at the middle of this range, I would be expecting about 42, 43 cents to be the, the hope where we consolidate next at hope. So to go just back to the all time high for our CRO to the top of euphoria and to reach that would be roughly a 9X for CRO, which is absolutely incredible just from a conservative standpoint. But if we were to draw the Fibonacci retracement tool to just to show you what's possible, to do a 1.618, which would be about a dollar and 56 cents is already a 15X for this project. To do a 2.618, which would be roughly $2 and 50 cents would be a 25X. To do a 3.618, which would be about around $3 and 40 cents, 35X. And to do a full extension of a 4.236, which would be roughly $4 would be a 42X for CRO. So while I don't think we're gonna be going that high this bull run, maybe by 2030, I do think this bull run is going to be a big one for CRO. As you guys can see, it did very well during the last bull run. And so this will be a second bull run for CRO. And I think it's going to prove its use case and it's going to absorb a lot of users. Because as you know, retail hasn't even entered the markets yet. This rally for Bitcoin and the rest of the altcoins is being fueled by institutional adoption due to the spot Bitcoin ETF approvals. So when retail starts researching on Google, you know, crypto exchanges, CRO is going to pop up. Now, the next altcoin on the list is Beam. It's sitting at 0.0. 033 right now. Its market cap is 1.7 billion dollars and the circulating supply is about 51 billion of the total supply of about 62 billion in terms of exchanges it's listed on virtually all the top exchanges other than coinbase and beam is on the ethereum blockchain and also the binance smart chain so you can see it on pancake swap and on uniswap and we go to their website it's very simple they have six things here the beam companion app the sphere market beam hub beam swap dev docs and beam bridge and the beam companion app is their official app where you can link swap and secure in-game assets on beam for different nfts in your collection and the sphere market is where you can buy sell and trade gaming assets on the immutable zk evm and on beam so they're in a collaboration between polygon immutable x and merit circle so if you go to sphere.market backslash beam and you click collections you can see all the popular collections on here now this is obviously a lot smaller than something like OpenSea, but if this gains a lot of traction and the community continues to grow then so will the beam token and someone like alex becker has been making crypto videos recently he posted this saying, Beam is taking no prisoners. One could have simply built a portfolio off of IMAX, Beam, and Superverse at these levels and effed, effed off. He's saying this is going to IMAX levels and IMAX is going to top 15 levels. So crypto gaming is going to be absolutely massive. And this is Beam's first bull run. And when we look at trading view right here, Beam to the US dollar, 
on the left hand side of the screen you guys can see the price action since november of 2023 this is brand new so this hasn't even gone through a bull run yet so what we're experiencing right now is the first stage of this disbelief rally and we could just be breaking out into hope for beam or we might still just be in the disbelief rally before we even start the hope rally if bitcoin sees a correction uh, going into the halving then we more than likely would see a correction across the entire space for all altcoins and gaming altcoins included and then we break out after bitcoin's having into hope optimism belief thrill and euphoria for a lot of these altcoins so what i would expect to happen is something like this to play out for us to top out somewhere in 2025 around like october november december 2025 and then the bear market to kick in leading into 2026 and for us to find a bottom uh, for beam depending on how high this chart goes up uh, we will determine where the bottom will be. So in terms of a price target, well, it's anyone's guess, but I think this project could pull a $5 billion, $10 billion market cap. I don't see why not, because it's going to be one of the leaders in the gaming space. And the gaming space is going to be uh, one of those niches and those narratives that are going to absorb the majority of the liquidity this bull run. So a 20 cents, 40 cents, 50 cent beam is not out of question. Now, the next altcoin on the list is Bonk. Now, love it or hate it, you guys can't deny the meme coin craze. And the reason why this meme coin has gone absolutely crazy recently and has a market cap of $741 million, which might seem like a lot, but if you compare that to something like Shiba Inu or Dogecoin, this is actually a smaller cap project that is going to absolutely go crazy this bull run. It's on Solana. And so minimal fees, massive community, massive amounts of trading volume. The circulating supply is 67% of the max supply. And the price is 0 0.00001, listed on virtually all the top exchanges. It's on Binance, it's on Coinbase, KuCoin, Bybit, HTX, Gate.io, among many others. And Bonk was initially launched as a free airdrop to the entire Solana community on Christmas Day in 2022. Bonk's adoption has since grown uh, parabolically to emerge as a true community coin of Web3. They have 619,000 holders, which is absolutely crazy. It's on 10 different chains. And their mission is to become the number one community coin in Web3. And they have a lot of different in game integrations as well too to make the most out of your bonk tokens and you can see all the gaming integrations you know with crash bonk evo quackpot dual casino uh hedgehog markets photo finish and uh, you can use your bonk in a lot of these different integrations which is really cool so you know gaming decentralized finance they have bonk bot where you can trade spl tokens straight from your mobile wallet with solana's premier telegram trading bot and 100% of all fees go towards buying bonk with 20% instantly burn they have bonk swap bonk rewards Wormhole, GooseFX, Bybonk, Dual Finance, Pool Party, Viper Protocol, among many other DeFi integrations. So when we look at the chart, it's very comparable to what happened to Shiba Inu the last few bull runs where you see this massive parabolic run up, which is basically VC money, whale money, dumping in tens of millions of dollars really fast. And so that's why we see these massive green candles coming in and that gets retail to invest in. So behind the scenes, these VCs decide like which project they're gonna pump. And Bonk is one of those projects to get the Solana, uh, the Solana ecosystem to grow. And then other meme coins start popping up like Myro and other low cap projects. But what happened with Bonk here is it went from, you know, all the way down here, 0.000003 and it rallied up, looks like over, I mean, if we were to measure this move, it was over a 57, nearly a 60 X in a matter of one to two months. So that's what happened to Shiba Inu back here in May of 2021. I mean, Shiba Inu rallied up 170 X and then we saw a sell off of about 85%. Shiba Inu consolidated sideways for 150 days and then rallied up another 16 X to the all time high. So because this is the first major rally for Bonk, it could be compared to something like this and we could have another leg up to the upside for wave number three. And then the final impulse Elliott wave number five could be the end of this bull run. So I don't think Bonk's rally is done. I think it's just getting started and I could see this project being one of the top meme coins this bull run achieving multiple billions of dollars in market cap so the fact that this is still under a one billion dollar market cap is the reason why you shouldn't count this out yet because look what happened to shiba inu during the last bull run it rallied up of 12 billion came back down to 2 billion then ultimately shiba inu performed over a 32 billion dollar market cap last bull run so i would expect bonk to do something like this for it to consolidate for an extended period of time maybe another you know three months six months and then eventually something to give and massive amounts of money to just flow back into this project for another rally up and then i could expect it doing another 5 10 or 15 x towards the later stage of this bull run so you know don't buy this project don't sell this project obviously do your own research but this is a meme coin to keep on your radar now the next altcoin on the list is xdc network the market cap is 574 million dollars the circulating supply is uh, 13 billion the total supply is 37 billion it's sitting at four cents right now and it's listed on htx bybit kucoin gate.io mexc bit true among many other exchanges 
exchanges. But XTC is not on Coinbase or it's not on Binance or it's not on crypto.com yet. So that's a big reason why the market cap is most likely not above a billion dollars yet. And XTC is going to be one of those projects in the industry of tokenizing real world assets and financial instruments. So the XTC network, which is also known as Zinfin Digital Contract Network, is a powerful and scalable blockchain platform designed to bridge the gap between traditional finance and decentralized finance. And it operates on a hybrid blockchain model combining the best features of both public and private blockchains to create a robust and efficient ecosystem. And it leverages Zinfin's XDC utility token to facilitate transactions and power the network's functionalities. And one of the key strengths of the XDC network is they focus on enterprise use cases, basically providing a suitable environment for businesses, financial institutions, and governments to leverage blockchain technology for improved efficiency, transparency, security, even tokenizing real world assets. They also have what's called XDC pay, which allows businesses and individuals to accept the XDC token as a form of payment for goods and services. So they have a payment solution that could be integrated into websites, apps, and other platforms. So they have a wide variety of different features, benefits like instant transactions, low settlement fees, and compatibility with multiple devices and operating systems. And the XDC network uses a delegated proof of stake consensus mechanism known as XDPOS. And in this model, a set of trusted validators known as the delegates are elected by the network participants to produce and validate blocks. And these delegates are responsible for securing the network and reaching consensus on the state of the blockchain. And the XDPOS consensus algorithm enables fast block confirmation times and high transaction throughput. So this is just scratching the surface behind XDC, which I can get into in future videos. It's also an ISO 222 compliant project. And when we talk about partnerships, Banking powerhouse SBI commits to empowering XDC, expanding the network's footprint over in Japan and over in Abu Dhabi and United Arab Emirates. Business Wire, represented by TradeFinex, is pleased to announce its partnership with SBI VC Trade, which is a prominent Japanese cryptocurrency exchange within the SBI group. And this strategic collaboration marks a significant milestone for the XDC network as it expands its ecosystem over in the Japanese market, along with XRP, because the XDC network offers a robust blockchain network designed specifically for enterprise use cases like trade finance, payments, and real world asset tokenization. And this was back in June of 2022, saying Impel and the XDC network, uh, Zinfin today announced the official launch of Impel, an alternative solution uh, platform for quickly and securely sending ISO 222 compliant financial messages. It includes the option to add XDC as collateral for instant settlement and a bridge to the R3 Corda platform for future facing banks and fintechs. So XDC is going to play a major role in the new quantum financial system. And that's why it's one of the top projects on my radar. Now, if we look at the chart here, we can see sitting at four cents with an all time high of over 19 cents. We see the euphoria stage back here at the all time high, the complacency stage. Then we went into anxiety, denial, panic during the bear market final capitulation, leading down to anger for the bear market bottom at like just under two cents. Then people were depressed right here, even though the market was rebounding, they didn't see much price action to the upside. Sure, it went up to four cents, but it dips all the way back down to under three cents again. And then we broke out for the disbelief rally. We broke above the neckline and now uh, we were holding the neckline as support. We're just barely underneath it. So the way that I see this playing out over the next few months is right now we are tapping this upward trending support from anger to depression right here and we're at it right now. So we could dip just a little bit below it if Bitcoin retraces, but eventually I would expect the next breakout for XDC to be absolutely massive as we go into the hope stage of the bull run. And that would bring us up to between anxiety and complacency up here at around you know 12, 13 cents. And then for the all time high, well, how far off are we from there? We're roughly 364% between a three or a four X. But if I were to draw the Fibonacci retracement tool from the all time high to the low of the anger stage to do a 1.618 is roughly 600% or a six X to go to 30 cents to do a 2.618. It's roughly a 10 X to go to 48 cents to do a 3.618 extension. That's 65 cents. And that'd be a 15 X to do a full extension of 4.236. It's about a 17 X to go to 76 cents. So I'd be happy with anything between a 30 cents all the way up to a 76 cents for XD. I think this project is going to be in the multiple billions of dollars of market cap by the end of 2025. So I'll probably be taking profits on my XDC anywhere between 40 cents all the way upwards of 70 cents to potentially a dollar. Now, the next altcoin on the list is Casper or CSPR. It's sitting at 0 0.038 with a market cap of $450 million. The total supply is uh, about 12 billion. The circulating supply is 11.8 billion. Casper is listed on OKX, Gate.io, KuCoin, Bybit, MEXC, HTX, BitGet, BitMart and uh, many other exchanges. It's not listed on uh, 
Coinbase, it's not listed on Binance. It doesn't look like it's listed on crypto.com. Actually, it is listed on crypto.com, but they say they're the future proof blockchain where the future is unwritten, but the past is immutable. And Casper is a powerful public smart contract platform enabling creators, communities, and businesses to connect with integrity and trust. And they've identified four macro trends that drive their development and adoption. Number one would be tokenization as we lead to real world assets and fractionalization of micro economies and communities, ownership rights, you know, asset digitization, uh, cryptographically secure authenticity and ownership rights, which is massive for patents and trademarks, financial standards, transforming capital markets through on-chain implementation of new standards and the creator economy through things like NFTs, whether that be art, music, videos and games. Now, love it or hate it, the World Economic Forum has Casper Labs listed on their official website saying it's a blockchain platform uh, purpose built to scale opportunities for everyone building for blockchain's next frontier casper labs is designed for real world applications without sacrificing usability cost decentralization or security and the company removes the barriers that prevent mainstream blockchain adoption for making blockchain friendly use open the world and future proof to support innovations today and tomorrow and so you know very very vague obviously but the fact that they're listed up here is massive so why would the world economic forum put them on their website if they weren't a part of a much bigger plan so the trusted partners are ibm hyperledger amazon web services blockchain based service network everstake ledger leap metacask among many others and their focus is on being a blockchain for business to business listen to this i spent much of my career in professional enterprises like adobe and avalara where I led developer teams and oversaw major technology decisions. What does a blockchain for business mean? Well, first and foremost, a blockchain has to interoperate with legacy technology, basically everything that's been built before, from developer workflows to security requirements. We designed the Casper technology to work with existing infrastructure and the existing organization. So instead of having an ivory tower of blockchain experts, Organizations can onboard all of their developers. Flexibility is also essential for organizations. I often say to enterprise customers, history is immutable, but the future is unwritten. And having upgradable smart contracts gives them that flexibility. With Casper, smart contract versioning is built in. While with other blockchains, smart contract upgrades are essentially a hack. If you are a business looking to build a solution with real utility, the Casper protocol gives you all the flexibility and features your organization requires to make it a reality. And with Casper Labs, you will have the support and service you expect when adopting a new technology. Come build with us. Now, Casper also uses a proof of stake and their utility token is the CSPR token. And as you can see right here on the chart with it sitting at 0 0.038, um, going back all the way to the peak of the bull run, upwards of 23 cents, we see the euphoria stage. And most of these charts look the same because you know, the liquidity across the whole industry moves together, whether it's going in or out of the markets at the same time. And so when it's going out of the markets, all these altcoins drop fast, you know, and they drop 90 to 99%. As you can see, it saw sell off of you know, about 90%. So we go to complacency, then anxiety, denial, panic, capitulation, and anger. And then we rally out from anger to form a neckline, which was around six cents. We come back down, everyone's depressed. We hang out here for a little while and we're just breaking out of the depression stage. So we're just barely off of the lows of depression of 0 0.029 and we're just getting started. So the next move for CSPR is to break this neckline, hold it as support, which would be a major disbelief rally. And then the next move to the upside is the hope stage. And that would put us back up above, you know, where complacency was, you know, closer to euphoria and the all time high of about 14 cents right here. So how far are we off away from that, which would be the hope stage? It's about a two to three X to the all time, not the all time high, but the euphoria stage is about a 500%. But as you guys can see here, they were launching while the markets were dropping. Then we saw that dead cap bounce towards the true all time high for Bitcoin. So we would measure to about right here. And so if we draw the Fibonacci retracement tool from the high of euphoria down to the low of where anger was at to do a 1.618 would be about an 8x and that's 37 cents to do a 2.618 would be about almost 60 cents. And that's a 14x to do a 3.618. That's a 20x or an 81 cents. And to do a 4.236 full extension would be a 23X to put it at about 94 cents for Casper. So I don't see why a 10 to 20X wouldn't be possible. I mean, we're only sitting at a $449 million market cap and Casper is sitting very low on the price chart right here, getting ready to go into the disbelief rally. 
Now, the next altcoin on the list is PulseX through the Hex ecosystem. It's sitting at 0 0.000046. And if you guys remember correctly, they did a sacrifice phase where, you know, when the sacrifice was taking place, the bear market was kicking in. So when the project launched, you know, a lot of people needed to sell off because they were forced to hold for so long because Richard Hart took forever to launch this project. And so, you know, a lot of people that sacrificed are sitting on a loss. And uh, hey, I sacrificed, uh, you know, a decent chunk, about 100 grand for this project. So I'm sitting on a massive loss. I mean, I think it's probably only worth like 15 grand right now. Um, so this project, I mean, I should be pissed off. I was for a little while, but once I did some more digging to figure out what they're gonna be doing, it's absolutely insane. So there's really three main tokens here. Hex, which was the first one, and Hex did multiple billions of dollars last bull run. Then there's PLS, and then there's PLSX, which is the exchange token. So similar to how you have like Uni or Sushi, which is the exchange token for SushiSwap or Uniswap, or like CRO for crypto.com, that's what PulseX is. So PulseX enables you to exchange tokens or PRC20s on Pulse Chain for one another. For example, you could swap Pulse Chain's native token PLS for PL PLSX. It works like Uniswap on Ethereum. You know, bridges also let people trade currencies from other chains on PulseX. And they say they have the world's largest yield farm. You know, every time people swap from one coin to another on PulseX liquidity providers, they earn fees as a reward, and users can bridge in their ERC20 tokens and pair them with free PRC20s in order to provide liquidity and earn fees. You know, this also backs the value of the PRC20s that they got for free. So PulseX's goal is a Uniswap fork with PulseX liquidity provider incentivization. Its goal is to provide Pulse Chain users with the best possible trading experience in Yield Farm with a strong focus on incentivizing ERC20 holders to bridge in and back the value of their free PRC20s. So they have high yields, high efficiency, trading fees are dirt cheap, and the community is absolutely massive right now and thriving. So as you guys can see right here on the chart, since May of 2023, I mean, we saw a massive, you know, sell off after the sacrifice phase. It dropped about 92%, just like a lot of these projects do. That's why you have to be very careful on what projects you choose to, you know, jump into, especially at different times in the market. Because if you're jumping into a, a project that's launching at the peak of the market, and then uh, they, they launch while the market's going down, virtually everything goes down during a bear market. So you just can't be mad about that. But recently, it's been rallying up, you know, it's up over 600% or a 6X. And I think it's just getting started. You know, the neckline from where we are at is really the high of May of 2023 uh, here on Dex Tools, And that's about 170% away. Once we break that neckline, I can just draw the fibs from the high to the corrective low so far. And to do a full extension or 4.236 is about a 10X from here. So I think that is very well possible during this bull run. And that would be the absolute peak for this project. So I don't think it's going to do like a 20X, a 50X or 100X, although anything's possible. But you look the market cap is at six billion dollars so i think it could go up to like a 50 billion maybe a 60 billion dollar market cap at the peak of the bull run if we see like five to ten trillion dollars come into this industry over the next one to two years i'm expecting big things for pulse x now the last altcoin on the list is dent dent is sitting at 0 .001 444 so comment 444 if you're feeling blessed the market cap is the lowest market cap on this list at 144 million dollars and while you guys might think that these are large market caps you know with the whole industry at $1.9 trillion, the market cap of gold is like $15 trillion. The market cap of NVIDIA is like $2 trillion the past few days. And so, so much liquidity could flow into this industry. It's not even funny. Just in a matter of a month or two, the amount of money that could come in is gonna be insane. And when ISO 222, that standard really starts being ushered in fast over the next year going into 2025 it's going to be insane once the big whales start dumping in trillions of dollars we're not just talking millions or billions we're talking about trillions of dollars in this industry and so the cool thing about dent that i like is the max supply is 100 billion the circulating supply is 100 billion so it's all in circulation the market cap 145 million the fully diluted 145 million and the fact that this project goes back multiple bull runs and the all-time high is about nine cents while it currently sits at 0 0.001, you know, we saw the bull run before then, it was 0 0.016. So this project I think can do big things. You know, there's the Ethereum smart contract address that you can grab. It's on Binance, it's on Uniswap, Uniswap, it's on BigGate.io. 
uh, among many other exchanges. But on the website, Dent is focused on mobile connectivity for app businesses available in 189 countries worldwide, where you can integrate the Dent eSIM into your app or your website if you're a business. And if you don't have a business, you can stay connected worldwide with mobile data on your smartphone through the Dent app. So it's mobile eSIM data for everyone. And since 2017, they've been offering cutting edge solutions and services that leverage the power of eSIM and blockchain technology for decentralized communication. They have a very experienced team. They have the Dent Gigastore, the Dent Carrier SDK, the DBoss, and the Dent app. And one of the most exciting things about Dent is the chart. You know, look at the all-time high where Euphoria was at back in April of 2021 up here, guys, when complacency kicked in. You know, it looks a lot like that Bitcoin chart when we went into that bear market of like 2018 before the DeFi summer of 2019. We see anxiety, denial, panic, then capitulation down here at the bottom. And then we go into anger and then depression. And now we're just breaking out for this disbelief rally. So once we crack this neckline and we hold it as support, this will be the main disbelief rally. And I would expect us to you know, stay within here towards the tail end of 2024. And then the tail end of 2024, I would expect a breakout for, for hope lean into the middle of the complacency stage at about 0 0.006, potentially up to a penny. And then to go to the all-time high, it's about nine cents. But with all of the max supply and circulation, we're just going to measure up to the high of April of 2021, which would be about a 15x from where we are right now, or 1500% to go to about two cents. Now let's draw the Fibonacci retracement tool from the high to the low to see what's possible here for this bull run. If we were to just go to any of these extension levels of 1.618, which would be about 0 0.036, that's a 22x. To do a 2.618 would be a 37x to go to about almost six cents. To do a 3.618 is a 52x to go to eight cents. And to go to nine cents, which I believe is actually the true all time high, that's a 60X away from where we are right now, or 6,000%. Now to do just a 50X with a current market cap of 144 million, that's only a 7.2 billion dollar market cap. And so that's why Dent is last on this list today, because I don't see why that's not possible, why that's not possible, guys. With a $7.2 billion market cap, you look at some of these projects, you know, like meme coins, they get upwards of like Shiba Inu got what, like a $30 billion market cap at the peak of the bull run. So for Dent to do a 5 billion, 7 billion, 10 billion with the utility of decentralized mobile connectivity with eSIM technology on the blockchain. I haven't seen any project that has a utility like that. And the chart is just picture perfect. I mean, I've shown you the psychology of a market cycle over and over and over again. So at this point, your guys' eyes should be trained to see this. And so you could see the neckline right here at 0 0.0015. Once we break this neckline, the next resistance is really 0 0.002. Then we have 0 0.004. And then really after that, it's the top of the complacency stage and then the all time high. So when money starts flying in in this industry, we see these massive green candles, just like we saw back here in February of 2021. So don't ignore Dent, keep it on your radar. Again, don't buy, don't sell any of these altcoins. Keep these on your radar, guys. This was all for educational purposes only. And if you wanna see other top altcoins that we're the most bullish on and get early bird access to our crypto education platform when that's launched, so you can see these altcoins before these videos are made, then click the button on the page on bullrunners.com, put in your best email address. You'll be instantly subscribed to our video newsletter. You'll be added to our private Telegram group where we give you the best information to help you prepare for the worst that's yet to come in this economy. Because together, you know what we're doing. We're backing up our truck all the way to the bank grabbing the bags, packing them and stacking them, leaving no bags left behind because we believe the spending power of the dollar is gonna to continue to go down in value. That's a fact based on inflation, blockchain technology, distributed ledger technology is going up in interest. That's the truth and together, we're all going camping on the beaches of the moon. I will see you guys on the next video. I will see you on bullrunners.com. As always, you know what to do, stay bullish.